This is the brand new Insta360 Ace Pro, and it just changed the action camera industry. For years, other companies have made small iterations and improvements to their action cameras, but today, Insta360 is launching the Ace Pro, and with it, they're bringing all sorts of new features to the action camera market that haven't been seen before. With one of the largest sensors available on any action camera, a lens that was co-engineered by Leica, a flip-up screen, waterproofing up to 10 meters by itself or up to 60 meters with housing, and a slew of state-of-the-art AI features. The Insta360 Ace Pro is the perfect camera to take with you on your underwater adventures. In this video, I'll go over the awesome image quality, review some of its best features, compare it to other popular action cameras, and demonstrate its AI capabilities. Now, if you want to check out the camera right away, click the link in the description for more information, but I promise you, you are not going to want to miss this. Let's get into it. All of the footage you just saw was shot on the brand new Insta360 Ace Pro. The only adjustment I made was using Insta360's AquaVision 2.0, one of the many AI features I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. And before I get too far into it, I just want to say a quick thanks to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. With the launch of the Insta360 Ace Pro, they asked if I'd be willing to do a review of it, and I gotta say, I was so excited to test it out underwater. Insta360 has been creating some innovative and amazing products over the last few years. These innovations have really pushed the envelope within their respective industries, and now with the Ace Pro, those innovations are coming to the action camera market. Now, in this video, I'll first talk about what gives the Insta360 Ace Pro such a superior image quality. Then, I'll move into some of the more distinct and unique features that the Ace Pro has when compared to the GoPro Hero 12 and other action cameras. Finally, I'll cover some of the awesome AI tools that Insta360 created that really make creating memories of your travel and underwater adventures so so easy without needing to know how to do all that fancy editing like color correcting or fancy cuts and transitions and things like that. Now what makes the Insta360 have better image quality, especially when taking photos and video underwater? Well to start with, if you didn't catch it in the opener, the Insta360 Ace Pro has one of the largest sensors available on any action camera at 1 over 1.3 inches. In comparison, the GoPro Hero 12 has a sensor that is 1 over 1.9 inches, which is quite a bit smaller. This means the Insta360 can capture more light, giving it more dynamic range and accurate colors when shooting both photo and video. This means that the contrast or the difference between the darker and lighter areas are going to be much more pronounced. And the footage out of the camera without any extra editing will have way more accurate colors than what we normally see on social media, which is usually that overly blue or green underwater video. Next, it has a lens that was co-engineered by Leica, who are well known for having very high quality camera equipment, making it have the best lens available on any action camera. This combination blows the competition out of the water, and I haven't even gotten into the AI enhancements that I'll get into a little bit later in this video. This large sensor also means there's better low light performance, and I'll cover that a little bit later in this video when I also showcase pure video, an automatic denoising function that allows the Insta360 Ace Pro to shoot at a higher ISO setting without affecting the image noise. Now, with this awesome sensor and lens combination, you also get a 48 megapixel camera, which is about double the GoPro Hero 12's camera. It also supports something Insta360 calls Clarity Zoom, which gives you a 2x magnification just by double tapping the screen and you don't lose any image quality at all. When you combine all of these features with Insta360's flow state stabilization, you get clear, crispy, stable footage that you're just gonna love. But it's not just the image quality that's beating the competition. Insta360 truly added some new innovations with this camera and the Ace Pro sports a bunch of unique features you just don't see and other action cameras. Let's start with one of the most attractive features to me personally, the 2.4 inch flip up screen. Just imagine you're underwater and you're trying to get that perfect angle to be able to shoot that fish that's hiding underneath the coral head. The problem is, unless you basically lay on the ground, you pretty much have no way of knowing if your action camera is actually facing the right way or if the subject is even framed properly.
properly. This is because there's just no way you're gonna be able to see the screen as you get that camera down below you and try to get it on the same level to kind of point down and upwards up to that coral head where the fish is hiding. Well, that's where the Insta360 Ace Pro's flip up screen comes in handy because you can just flip that screen out about 90 degrees and then you have a perfect video monitor so that you can keep the Ace Pro facing in the right direction on your subject and know exactly what you're capturing on that screen. Honestly, I have no idea why no one else has thought about this feature before, but it sets the Ace Pro way above its competition in my opinion. Now, let's say you wanted to take a selfie or maybe just a group photo of you and your dive buddies. Now, if you've ever used an action camera before, you know that basically you have to set a timer, hit the button, rush to get that selfie stick out, and just hope that it's framed properly. And you might have to take two, three, four photos sometimes and just kind of have to live with the fact that maybe it's not exactly framed up like you wanted. But now with the Insta360 Ace Pro's flip up screen, you can just flip that screen up 180 degrees and now you have the perfect selfie view. So you can do vlogs above land or even better, those selfies and group shots while you're underwater. But there's still a pain point here because who wants to set a timer and then feel rushed as they try to quickly get that shot framed up before the timer goes off and takes a photo of them. Well, this is where the Insta360 Ace Pro yet again just outshines the competition because they recognize that you can't just use those voice commands like you would normally on the camera because you're underwater and we can't use our voice underwater. So instead, it actually introduced gesture control for both starting and stopping your video as well as taking photos and it works underwater as well. You can just put a hand up to start the video and then when you put your hand up again, it'll stop the video. Then if you decide you want to take a picture, you can just put up a peace sign and you can still have that timer on too. So when I do the peace sign, I'll have a three second timer start. Now I can get in frame and my photo got taken. Now, these features alone make it so much easier for beginners to use because it is so much easier to shoot footage when you can actually see what you're doing. But Insta360 added even more functionality and features to the Ace Pro. For example, the Insta360 Ace Pro has a really long lasting battery that's rated to last up to 100 minutes while running at 4K 30 FPS with active HDR enabled. It can also fast charge to 80% battery life in just 22 minutes with a full charge taking about 46 minutes. Now, in comparison, the DJI Osmo Action 4 takes about 51 minutes to fully charge. Next, for underwater enthusiasts like myself, the Ace Pro actually supports what's called pre-recording, which allows you to record either 15 seconds or 30 seconds before you actually hit the shutter button and start recording yourself. This is great for when you're waiting for that perfect shot for some marine life to show up. Let's say there's a moray eel that you know is gonna pop out of that hole any second now, and just as you look away, it pops out and starts to the other side of the reef and dives into another hole. You missed it, right? Well, if you have pre-recording turned on, you can just hit the shutter button real quick and the 15 seconds before you press the button or the 30 seconds, depending on what you have it set to, will all be recorded for you on a loop. So it basically just means that you have the 15 seconds before you hit the button and then it continues on until you decide to stop recording again. Now, two other huge time savers for me, as well as space savers for my storage card, are the ability to cancel recordings and pause recordings as well. Let's say you're trying to record your friend do a flip underwater or sit in the Buddha pose and they just completely mess up. Normally, you'd have to start over, which means you have to stop the recording and then start a new clip. And later, when you transfer everything over to your phone or to your computer, you're gonna have to find that clip, go through it, realize it was the mistake, and then delete it, which just takes up storage space on your memory card. And while you transfer it over, it takes up some extra time as well because you have to go through that footage that you aren't gonna use anyway. Well, with the Insta360 Ace Pro, you can use the cancel recording feature, which basically just allows you to delete the current video that you started recording by just pressing and holding the shutter button. So rather than pressing it and stopping the recording, you can press and hold and you'll get a little confirmation on the screen that allows you to cancel the recording, which basically means that it's going to delete it and not save it at all. So that way you don't have to process it later. You don't have to transfer that file. You don't have to worry about it taking up space on your storage card and it'll just be gone because who was going to use the mistake video anyway. Now pause recording is slightly different, but imagine you're on one of those very typical dives where you want to record the whole thing, but there's a lot of periods in between stuff where you're not really seeing any action at all. There's not too much to record, but you really wanted that single long clip of the dive to capture the whole thing. 
So with pause recording, instead of actually stopping the recording, starting again, and starting and stopping and starting and stopping and have all these individual clips that you have to eventually put it together into a single long video, you can instead just pause the recording. This means that rather than having all those individual bits that you either have a really long video where you'd have to cut all those meaningless parts out of it, or a bunch of individual little clips that you have to string together yourself, Insta360 will do all of that for you. You can just pause the recording, then hit continue when you're ready, and every time you continue, it just appends it to the previous video file rather than creating a brand new video file. So you end up with a single file that has just the highlighted clips that you wanted. But now that you have those clips, you're probably asking to yourself, how do I transfer this over to my phone so I can start sharing it on social media? Well, before I cover that, if you're already itching to get your hands on the Insta360 Ace Pro, leave a comment down below and let me know what feature you're most excited about. And then click on the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Okay, so let's say you've taken a number of clips while you were out diving for the day. And now it's time to transfer all of those clips over to your phone so you can start sharing it to social media. Normally with my GoPro, I have to open the app, connect it to my camera, start the transfer, and then leave everything open while the transfer is going on. And it's the same for the DJI app as well. I can't change apps at all or try to multitask because as soon as I do, the transfer stops and fails and I have to start it all over again. Luckily, Insta360 fixed this pain point too with the Ace Pro because you can actually leave the app so you can start working on other things on your phone while the transfer is in progress. This means that you can do something like start drafting up your social media post so as soon as that transfer's finished, you just attach your clips and you'll be all ready to post. But wait, you still have to edit your clips and do the color correction and all those other changes before you post it to social media, right? Won't that take hours? Well, not necessarily. The Insta360 Ace Pro contains an advanced 5 nanometer AI chip that allows it to outperform any of its competitors that may have somewhat similar hardware specs. This AI chip allows it to do some amazing things on device. And to start with, let's talk about AI Assistant. When you turn this on, the Ace Pro can automatically determine the highlights and the clips that you have, and then you can review these clips within the camera itself. This lets you merge everything into a single epic recap video, erasing all the original footage and boring parts and just leaving you with a single highlight reel basically that you can go ahead and share on social media. This saves you loads of time editing and loads of storage space on your SD card because all the boring parts you would have cut away anyway get deleted so you don't have that just sitting on your SD card. The best part is when you do connect your camera to your phone, the AI will actually automatically start the transfer of this highlight reel for you so it'll be over there even faster and allow you to just go ahead and post that right to social media and start sharing with your friends. Now if you do hop into the Insta360 editor, you'll find a bunch of other AI tools as well, like AquaVision 2.0, which makes the colors pop just even more in your underwater video. Since we lose colors at depth, starting with red, then yellow, then orange, AquaVision 2.0 allows you to restore these colors back into your footage, making it really easy to color correct using AI. There's also a really cool feature called AI Warp that lets you highlight part of a clip or even use the entire scene and apply these crazy effects like cyberpunk or superhero at the tap of a button. You can even try giving it your own prompt and then let the AI go to work and make it come to life. You'll get a push notification after the clip's been processed, and the results that you can get are crazy cool. Finally, the onboard AI chip allows the Insta360 Ace Pro to perform really well in low light situations as well with something called Pure Video. Pure Video actually processes and denoises your video before it's stored to your SD card. This means you get a significantly better image out of the Ace Pro compared to its competitors, and you don't have to take all that time running a denoiser in your post editing software. To me, this really makes the Insta360 Ace Pro the best of both worlds, letting me film during the day or at night, on land or underwater, knowing that no matter what, I'm going to get the best shot possible. With its large sensor, a lens co-engineered by Leica, and features like flow state stabilization and clarity zoom, I love the image and color quality I get out of the Insta360 Ace Pro. When you add the flip screen, longer battery life, and quality of life enhancements like the gesture controls, for example, it gives it a clear advantage and really makes it a winner in the action camera market. Then you add in a whole suite of Insta360 accessories such as the Magic Mount Arm, which is basically a tripod and a selfie stick combined with a magic arm that allows you to position the camera in a way that the arm is actually out of the shot, but you still get that selfie stick type distance away from you for your photos and vlogs. Then you throw in all of the AI features with things like automatic editing of highlights and really good low light performance with pure video. And I truly think that Insta360 has brought action cameras into a whole new era with the Ace Pro. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think and click the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. If you'd like to see what else is new in the diving world, click or tap the screen now so you can check out my playlist covering the Dima Show 2023. With that, 
Thank you again Insta360 for sponsoring this video and stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.